What is going on, my friends? Ken the Gamer 04, and we, well, I, I am going to start a new little mini series. This is LA Nor. I decided to download the game and play it. Fun fact I have not completed this actual game before. So, we're gonna complete the game in the little mini series. So, without further ado, let's get going on it. I don't remember quite what's in these things, but it's our right. every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle, a quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. City of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. Hollywood land, and I, I'm literally just noticing that. City of Dreamers. A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. City that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. Very, very interesting. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. That's a small train. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. All right. So, so, so like, for these responses, I'm going to... Hit the siren and go through the red lights because it's. I'm yes, not sir. gonna like stop at the traffic Wilson, lights and we stuff. Had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic Scooter Payton, a Negro male, bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Such luck is out of him, huh? Hey? This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. That is somewhat that is somewhat somewhat true. Look at this junk. Hmm. Obviously. Circumstantial. Yeah. As you can tell. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Yeah. Vastus. 
backstory on events which may or may not be related to what your you current investigation. Ooh, I like this. Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. And we try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hand. Chill. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering You went through a lot me. together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Hmm, interesting. I have never gone through those like newspapers and I have oh, yeah, not me. I always get landed with this crap. I have never like seen them before. I never Cole, come take a look at this. I have never like looked at them and like gone through the scenes. So it's pretty interesting as to what they're talking about. We're never gonna find it, it's a waste of time. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Ooh. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm going to see if I can find a way up there. There actually right. is a way. Don't hurt yourself. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Uh, I'm already heading up there. Calm down. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith & Wesson, serial S71893. Hmm. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's we a could. long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Oh yeah, let's use the notebook. Locations, gun store. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. Oh heck no yeah, harm in doing some I'm, a, I'm sure of it. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You nope. rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. That is It'll true. Be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. All right, 
Okay, so we are going to the gun store currently. It is apparent that we have a suspect on our hands. I would like to kind of know what this gun store has in mind for us. Um, like I said previously, I have not completed this game ever. So, I thought it'd be cool to just come on here, play the PC version of it, and... Um... Uh, actually complete the game. Central Guns, 10, 27 p.m. The guy looks kind of interesting. He's just like, eh, look at you. Gold-handled doors allow you to enter. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Okay, cool. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> well, thank You're you for that. You're not suggesting he's the owner. No. I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Yes, sir. It's about an or uh, murder. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Hmm. Pearl grip? 27, 4 inch, or, yeah, inch. Polished nickel, 46, 571, uh, this might be our guy, actually. We're in luck, Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Nice, been a big help. nice, nice, Anytime. nice. Always happy to help out the LAPD. I only remembered he was on the second page. I had I was like, yeah, he's on the second in? page. Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Din. Gunga Din. Yeah, I want to. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Just no, it because wasn't. we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Yeah, he kind of is, but it's for a good cause, you know? I mean... We're actually doing pretty good ourselves. I remember bits and pieces of the game, but I haven't completed it, and that's what we're doing. We're going to complete it. So it looks like we got to turn somewhere up here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now we make it right. Yeah, okay. Oops. Yeah, Schroeder's apartment. 10.43 p.m. All right. Just cross the street, you know. Gold handled doors allow you to enter. Well, I'm colorblind, so I don't know what a gold. Um, gold is yellow to me. Schroeder. Apartment two. two. Very good. 
Um, I do believe we get into a fight with this guy. I believe we get into one. I'm not too, too sure, but we'll see. Uh, apartment three, apartment four, apartment two. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What, what of, of it? it? Then you'll be surprised <laughs> to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Sorry about that if you heard that. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Yeesh. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah? Oh. Oh, he's still not giving up. You ready, tough guy? Huh? Oh, he almost went through the ta chair. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Oh. What do we got in here? Hmm. Well, well, well. What do we got here? Names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Hmm. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and Very shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Aren't we Call doing that, though? Partner, and leave the book where you found it. <laughs> leave the book where you found it, yet yeah, he places it on top of the uh, dresser. Or, not dresser, um... Well, yeah, dresser. Like a flashback or something. I have military vibes you from dumb this. Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but. Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, ass swipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? You're here for OCS, yeah. Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. Yep, the Japanese go. will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Armed and dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. All right, all right. See, needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. What? You heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Nice. We gotta kill someone. Make it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. 
Oh. Stay down. Your move. Kill a cop. It Ooh. is the electric chair. Oh. That's it. We got them all. I think we got him, Cole. Should be all clear. Oh my god, that was that was some interesting Lieutenant stuff. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotgun, you're either going to end up dead, dead or wearing, wearing a citation. A citation. So it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Wise words right there. That's all I can say. Oh, not another one. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Oof. I don't remember these scenes at all. I, these flashbacks, I don't remember them. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends. Their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. True. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped Oh, God. Away. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LNPG! You can go screw yourselves. <laughs> he just told us to go screw ourselves. Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! Is that a garbage truck? Garbage truck almost killed us. Bowers, hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug. Watch your fire. You yeah, really. This, Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Oh, he just kicked us in the you face. You fucking asked for it. Oh, <laughs> we just asked for it, huh? He? I, I believe we beat this guy up, too. Uh, there will be a way, you jackass. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. <laughs> We're assholes because we screwed something once. Give it once. up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Oh, what a clothesline from hell. Like we've got the place to ourselves. You want to go, mother trucker? Let's go. Let's go, you piece of crap. Oh, uppercut. My god. What are you doing, Wendell? You 
parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Oh my god, that's Watch great. your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Yep. Yeah, uh, that's why I became a cop. I ran track in high school. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10, Franklin, 8, Weiss, 8, Donahoe, 6, Kowalski, 6, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 2, Leadership, Donahoe, 8, Franklin, 7, Merrill, 6, Kowalski, 6, Weiss, 5, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Oh, boy. Oh. Buyer beware. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Mm -mm -mm. Gets you recognized as my, a shiny oh new star on the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption. The gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Oh! LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll yeah, really. Broad daylight. Crowded street. I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. I mean, I guess we'll examine the arm. There's really nothing to look at. Uh. Hmm. Boy. I wanna go. We'll go down there. He's got. Oh, what's this? Oh boy. Permanent five. Uh huh. Layaway voucher. I like it. C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. I like it. Do we have anything in the left side? Can we go up? No? Okay. Ooh, bullet casings. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Very good. Ha ha ha, look at that. We got a gun. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Don't you people have anything better to do? Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? Yeah. I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. That's awful. Just awful. Why can't we get any closer? Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, Verbally of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. 
Interesting. There's got to be more. Are you sure that there's, like, nothing? Are you sure that there's, there's something else there has to be? Okay. Maybe I'll just talk to this person then. Uh, can I, can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Uh-huh. Okay. Witnessed on the left, or entered on the left. Questions lifted, listed on the right. Do you think you could tell me okay. exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> um. She's lying. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Oh, really? How can I prove different? Layaway voucher. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. Correct, tell incorrect, reflect the mood of the oh, God. How was I, I right with that lie? one? You could lose your freedom. You I mean, yeah, I have played the game before. I probably This is probably memory Mr. coming Kalu. back. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Okay, can I get the possible murder suspect? Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Well, it's telling me to press two. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. Ooh. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Boy, oh boy. Give me the details of the shooting. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Witnesses telling the truth. Select truth. Again, it's telling me, select truth. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then 
three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Collect your what? We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Well, of course, it's gotta be something big. Well, we could go to the gun store. Sorry that you hear the dogs barking in the background. If you hear my dogs. Yeah, of course you do. Gun stores what right here? Yeah. Okay, Eagleson's gun store. Oh, is this Edgar? What can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Callu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield, a jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys next Wednesday. Have a wonderful day, everyone.